I work from home. I've been working from home since the end of August. So when this happened, I thought, I work from home. This is not going to affect me much because being home all day is what I do. I get up, I get coffee, I take the dog for a walk, I come back, I sit in front of a computer and I work. I take the dog out, I have lunch, I sit in front of the computer and I work in my house. It's normal. But then things felt tight and the restrictions started to set in. Unlike the rest of the East Side crew, I'm in Florida. So my restrictions happened later than theirs. But I was watching the news and thinking of my friends and worried about them. And then all of a sudden it was here. And we had to wear masks. And you're not supposed to touch the mail. I couldn't see my son. He could drive to the house, but we had to keep a distance from each other. I was supposed to go visit my grandchildren. I had to cancel my trip. I was supposed to go see my sister. I had to cancel my trip. Then I started noticing the little things I couldn't do. I couldn't go to the bookstore. I couldn't go to the coffee shop and sit and work there. And it felt tighter and darker. And I didn't like that. And I said to myself about 10 days ago, stop. I have to bring in some light, guided meditations, taking longer walks with the dog, tending to my orchids in the backyard, having coffee on my back porch, gratitude journaling, remembering the little things I have, I'm not sick, and to see my grandchildren and read them books at night before they go to bed. So it's the little things. They can frustrate us or they can bring us joy. And I hope you find the little things that bring you joy during these times. Thank you. <laughs>